Hi, I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner and today I want to show you how to make some little slippers or booties for your doll. They're very easy and simple to make. I like to make them, well I've made them out of everything really, except anything that I've wanted. But I, I was thinking that the material that they make yoga pants would work very well too. So I want to try that someday. Okay, this is what I call elastic lace. It stretches, but it's got a lacy pattern on it. This is one inch wide. I like to get it wider, and I've been having trouble finding it lately. So if anybody knows where I can get some, please let me know. So. The doll's foot that I'm making it for is two inches. So I cut this four inches, fold it in half, make a dart for the front of the foot. Start in here a few inches, back stitch, and that'll prevent it from going down into your with your needle. Back up, go ahead and then come ahead and curve this corner for the heel and then stitch along here and back stitch it here as well. Turn it right side out. So a little rose on it. Well that's a little large but a little bow or a bead or however you'd like to trim it. Slip it on the foot see how neat that looks and it stays on you don't leave a seam allowance because it would be too large so that gives you your stretch when you just make it the four inches and take your seam in and this is another one I made it's a little I just out of polyester cotton with a little piece of lace along the top. And this is the lace I used. It's elastic along the top, but it doesn't stretch. It, it stretches along the back edge, top edge. And then this is lace here. And when you release it, it gathers in. You've got gathered lace. So that's what I oops, put on the top of this one. And how I did it was I used right sides together, stretched my lace out, and used a cover stitch from my sewing machine. And it covers the raw edge so it won't fray. And it takes a couple of stitches and then V's out and then a couple more stitches and V's out all the way down here. And if you do have a bit of fraying, just trim it off, but don't cut your threads. You can see. And it'll, it won't fray. But it's a stitch you really don't want to have to rip out. So make sure you know where you're sewing. You have everything lined up right. Okay, and now you just stitch and back stitch and around. And that makes, turn it right side out, put a bow on it, and you have a little slipper. Now this one, you have to make it a little longer than her foot, so you have some seam allowance for the back. It makes a cute little shoe or booty. Now you could straighten this toe off a bit too if you liked. I didn't with this one, but you could just sew this across a little bit to flatten it off. And then I made one for this doll with felt. 
and I didn't put a seam on the bottom. I put the seams front and back. And I sewed my front seam, and as you see, if I had sewed it straight down, it would have came here, but I curved it down here. And then I made a casing for along the top. And I'll show you how I did that. Now this is not a piece of felt, it's not going to show up very well, it's dark. But there is a casing here. Now I take my elastic and I what do you have, and double it, put it through a needle, and put my needle in backwards. And it goes through. If you put the point through, it want, seems to want to catch. And just ease it through. And then pull it out. The wrong direction and then slide it through be careful you don't pull it all the way through and then just ease it a little bit so that it pulls it in so it fits nice and snug around the ankle and then just sew it makes it very easy to do And then when you have it done, when you have it tight, your elastic to where you want it, just sew the back seam up, making sure you stop the back stitch top and bottom. Turn it right side out, put some trim on it, and then you've got your little boot. This is another one I made. I sewed up some trim. And it had a nice edge on it. So I sewed some elastic. Just put the elastic on the inside and stitched it. And it gathers it in. And holds it on the foot. And this is another little one I made. Out of faux leather. I would... It's a little stiff. But if you had a bigger bigger uh, foot it would be better this is such a tiny little shoe because you got the thickness plus double thickness is here and then your elastic through here and then your seams are bulky at the back and along in the front here but it makes a cute little shoe but uh, as I say, if I was making one this size, it would be much easier to make than the tiny, tiny little one. So basically, that's how you make some dolls, shoes, slippers, booties. And they're very easy to do, and you can make them out of almost anything. And as I said, I'm going to try them out of yoga pants. Because <laughs> I think it would be a lot like the elastic lace. Now you would have to put elastic along the top. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you would like any, if you have any questions, email me. If you'd like this doll bonnet pattern, email me at dollfashions77 at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching, and I will be back. Bye now.